Hey, what's up, everyone? Welcome back to another episode of the Venom Vlog. This is episode 603, and this is the, the final part of me scrounging through IMDb trying to find some uh, information. I did in the last episode, we talked about the carnage element, and then we threw in a little extra conversation uh, topic, which is if you think the Venom movie will get uh, delayed or not again. Um, so go back and watch that episode if you haven't seen it yet, and let me know what your thoughts are about those two topics in that comment section. Um, but in this one, we're just going to talk really briefly about some uncredited actors that have updated their IMDb page saying that they're in the Venom 2 Let There Be Carnage movie. And this does line up with uh, stuff that we know is going to be in the movie and things we've talked about before. Um, so one of them, we were talking about the Carnival of the Dead. Uh, that was something that there was uh, street signs everywhere um, that were posted up in San Francisco uh, last year. And uh, there was also some people walking around in Halloween costumes as extras for this film, or at least that we've seen in a couple shots. Uh, and it was February, so there's no reason why normal people should be walking around in Halloween costumes. So I just assumed that they were extras. Um, but it seems like that's going to be something that plays up in the film as this Carnival of the Dead type thing. And so I'm really curious to see how that's going to play into the the story if it does at all like if it's something that's like breadcrumb through the whole movie and the final act takes place there or something i don't know it'll be interesting to see for sure uh but we have alexander garcia here who is going to be playing a mexican party guy at the event um, we also have ruth Horrix, who's going to be playing the carnival raver um, and she's listed again as uncredited and this lines up with people we've seen before who were playing um, like characters labeled as reveler and things like that and their party type uh, you know people so it seems like there's going to be something we also saw that behind the scene pictures that some people had glow sticks and uh, or not uh, was it glow sticks yeah I think it was glow sticks and they had like some hanging around their neck and some hanging up on the um, you know the uh, whatever the sc screen island or whatever they call it where they have a monitor island where all the monitors are um, so uh, say so they had like a bunch of uh, like or maybe it was the makeup area I can't remember but whatever the picture was um, they had you know all like glow in the dark stuff and so I was like uh, so that, you know we took note of it we were like ah, oh, well, at the time I wasn't sure but seeing more people listed as carnival person or raver or things like that a reveler um, party guy things like that um, you know very curious so I thought that was kind of neat that we're starting to see a few more people get added to the IMDb um, and what role they're kind of listed as even if they're uncredited because uh, we had a couple people we talked about in the first movie that were listed as uncredited but they were in the movie and those things that they said they did were in the movie too but they're just sometimes a lot of this just background stuff and you don't really see it a ton uh, but I still wanted to bring light to it, you know, like some shine some light on it and talk about it. So we have a potential, you know, looks like the Carnival of the Dead scene, party scene might be a, a bigger scene. They have more people listing themselves as it. So I want to hear your thoughts on that. Like, let me know down in the comments below. Are you, you know, what do you think of a party scene or, a, you know, Carnival of the Dead scene? What are your thoughts on those? I'd love to hear down below. Um, and then the other thing I want to talk about is that they've added in some more um, San Francisco Police Department uh, actors and, uh, you know, who are playing, um, you know, we have Obi Matthew, who's going to play one, and we have Diesel Ramos, um, who's going to play another. And these two guys, um, you know, are listed, like I said, as SFPD uh, detectives. So what looks like we might actually get some scenes in a bullpen with more than just beat cops, but also detectives and stuff. And since we've heard a lot of rumors about who some of the actors in this movie are playing, there might be more, uh, a bigger role for the police in this film than there were in the last one. Because last one, police and guards and SWAT team just showed up to get beaten up by Venom. Now that they've been beaten up by Venom, you know, they may not like Venom. And, uh, you know, he's essentially considered a vigilante in a way and an anti-hero, and they probably don't like him running around cleaning up the streets. So they're probably going to be more involved in this movie. So we have a couple more police officers listed. Um, and we also have um, two more uh, prisoners listed. We have Kenny uh, Lorenzetti, who is going to play a prisoner, it just says. And Skip Howland, who's going to play a San Quentin prisoner. And we also knew San Quentin was going to be a part of this movie, because obviously that's where um, Cletus Cassidy was at the end of the last movie. So we're going to get a little bit more up there. Obviously, like anyone who's a fan of the comics knows Cletus bonds with Carnage and breaks out of a prison. Are we going to see that in this movie? I really hope so. Some form of it anyway. That would be really cool. But it looks like there's going to be some other prisoners in there, um, which we assumed, and guards and everything. So we saw people who are going to be playing guards. We've covered a lot of this before um, in previous episodes. But these are just some new names that were dropped in here that I wanted to mention to you guys. Um, and then the last thing I wanted to mention was uh, this gentleman here, Tony Hunt, who is playing a lawyer. Um, also uncredited so a lot of these people are uncredited uh, right now um, but uh, but yeah uh, so I was like oh a lawyer bringing a lawyer into this that could be neat too because Cletus Cassidy might need a lawyer maybe there's a scene where they're actually going to try to bring him to trial or something and or, or I guess he already had a trial because he's in jail but maybe he maybe he's been on good behavior or maybe he's going to 
he has to have a lawyer with him when he talks to the police or talks to Eddie um, more about, you know, because at the end of the first movie, he says there's a lot of bodies that the government doesn't know about. And uh, and since you broke all these stories recently, like I'm, I've taken an interest in you, Mr. Brock. And so I'm willing to spill the beans to you. But you gotta, you know, you gotta kind of play my game too, and you gotta, you gotta kind of buddy up to me. Like we can be friends, right? Like that's kind of the attitude he has in, in the first one. He's like, eh, but you know, if you're, if you cross me, you know, there's gonna be carnage, you know. So I, I kind of like that he's just off his rocker, you know, Cletus Cassidy, uh, played by uh, Woody Harrelson, obviously. And so uh, that sets up a good dynamic for him and Eddie, and it could make him like a Hannibal Lecter type, where Eddie is almost like the Clarice in a way, and and goes and talks to, uh, you know, Cletus sometimes. And like I said, if Cletus has to talk to someone, there might be a lawyer there just to be there. Um, so that could be who Tony's playing, or he could just there could just be a room where lawyers and stuff like at the police department you know lawyers sometimes walk around police departments uh you know go in there and have appointments there so it could just be something where he's in the background there too but it just again these are fun things for conversation and topics so i wanted to hear from you guys and i instead of making three separate episodes about the party people and then also the prisoners and the detectives and now the lawyer um so i guess that's four uh, i just decided to do them all here and keep it really short for you guys so i want to hear what your thoughts are on all these topics you know about party people and your thoughts on the carnival of the dead um your thoughts on prisoners and what kind of prison scene we'll get in this movie or scenes we'll get in this movie um sfpd officers and detectives i want to hear what you think the role of the police officers are in this movie and also where you think a lawyer might fall into this uh, film we, i love speculating with you guys so let me know down below what you think of this and shout out to all of these people we just mentioned alexander ruth skip Tony, Kenny, Obi, and Diesel, uh, welcome to the Venom family. We uh, love having you guys and girls, and we're going to keep an eye out on you guys um, and all of your careers moving forward here. I'll try to keep an eye. You know me, I like to try to follow up on everyone, even if it's like, you know, two, three times a year, just see what they've been doing, what they've been in since the, the first Venom movie. We'll do the same thing here with these folks that are in Venom, Let There Be Carnage. So again, let me know your thoughts down below, and we'll continue our conversation as always down there. Thanks so much for watching the show. Like, share, subscribe, all that fun stuff, and I'll see you in the future. Peace.